So the last video we did about FPV drones was about this adorable little thing. But today we are stepping it up by flying this thing. <laughs> pretty terrifying to fly because of its size, its weight, and most importantly, how expensive it is when it's in the air. Now you guys know my track record of crashing these FTV drones, so this would not be possible without our awesome sponsor, Storyblocks. So Gene dragged me out here to Las Vegas so we can climb some random mountain where he crashed his big fancy new drone. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I ruin the end of this video for you? Now he wants to get a time lapse. Yeah, standing outside in the cold for two hours sounds real fun when you only get like two seconds of footage. Meanwhile, everyone else is partying and having a great time. Yeah, super fun idea on a Friday night. How about you time lapse me going to storyblocks.com and typing in Vegas? We have an unlimited all access plan, which includes unlimited downloads. So I'll get all the Vegas B-roll I need and be done in time to catch the Katy Perry concert. Well, Gene's out there freezing getting his shots. I'll be busy taking jello shots. <coughs> it's awesome. Tastes like success. Ugh, brings back memories from daycare. And if you thought counting cards is hard, try counting how many royalty-free stock assets Storyblocks has to offer. Just kidding, we know you can't count to that many. Storyblocks is a great value giving you not only stock footage, but also music, sound effects, images, and graphic templates. You get all that for less than two minutes at a roulette table. That was a bad decision. But you know what a better decision is? Is to click the link in the description and sign up with Storyblocks. And you will win too, just like I did not. But also, you will still win. All right, let's go ahead and do this unboxing at F1.2. This actually is an octocopter, so we need eight propellers just to get in the air, and then just a whole bunch of backups. Battery straps, big old full sun battery, 4,400 milliamp hours. And here is the monster. Definitely has some weight to it. A mounting plate for the camera, some antennas. Oh, this is nice. It actually comes with an adapter for this XT90. So we're gonna need this adapter to charge the batteries. Oh, uh, this is useful. It definitely lets you know which way to put on the propellers. What do you think? It's uh, pretty massive. It's plate sized. The plate game. size? That's a pretty big plate. Well, you know, <laughs> like, you know, like a banquet, it's like here. Here's a. <laughs> here's your dish. Yeah. It has been a while since I have been this nervous. Is it time to attach a camera? Let's start off with this Canon M50. It's already half broken, so this is probably a good opportunity for it to prove that it's still worth something. All right, you are going for a little flight. Feeling great. <laughs> this. Is crazy. I'm flying a Canon M50. This is one of the scariest things I've done in a very long time. I will admit I am terrified right now. Pete is always pissed off at the FPV drones, like, hey, and like trying to bite it and stuff, but she's just like, uh, I respect this one. <laughs> they weren't freaking out, they were just like, oh, what is that? <laughs> the battery life is actually somewhat decent. I thought it was gonna be gone in a second. We haven't crashed it yet. All right, every time I get to a new space, I'm gonna send this up first just to scout the area, check for obstacles. I'd also be curious to see how different the footage looks, so you can compare the two. Also, shout out to Carrie for operating the camera. Look at you go, hi. <laughs> Uh, let's see what kind of transmission range I get. Not as much range as I hoped. I lost signal for a second when I went over that little hump. So that's why I practice on these little ones first. All right, I'm not gonna hand catch that one, but. <laughs> this is the Sony ZV-E10 with a 10 mil. Please don't hit me with this drone. I will try not to. Try, there's no try. Gosh, it's heavy. I can feel it. The amount of momentum that this thing has is pretty insane. I have to make sure that I don't fly straight towards something because the stopping distance. First roll, there we go, no problem. Man, this thing is no joke. Whenever I do flybys, it's like, boom. As terrified as I am, I am having quite a bit of fun. <laughs> I say that now until I crash and then I'm gonna be crying. <laughs> Should we fly the red camera next? <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have a red camera anymore. What's up? Oh, what brings you to Benicia? I was born and raised here. I was watching the last video. So I was like, what's, what's Gene doing in Benicia? And I'm like, that's definitely like his 
His sprinter van, what the hell? Yeah, this is yeah, the biggest it. FPV drone I've ever flown. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. All I know is that they crash a lot. Yeah. You said your brother's on YouTube yeah. though? Yeah, BKXC. BKXC? Big, big mountain biker YouTuber. Dude, I might Look have to up. hit him up and try oh. to chase him with this. Uh, yeah. Actually. Absolutely, he's, actually, he's home right now. <laughs> if he's down, that could <laughs> yeah, actually he, be really cool. He, he's legit. I had no idea there were other YouTubers here. So mountain biking, yeah, huh? yeah. that's awesome. I ride all over the world. This wasn't set up at all. 20 minutes ago, we were like, hey, should we do it? Yeah, let's go, and now we're here. <laughs> I hope Gene's good in the wind. It's a little breezy. breezy. I think it's, it's okay with how big it is. Like yeah. the small ones have a lot of problems, okay. but this one I think is gonna be yeah. fine. It's gonna be major, major wind at the top. I thought you said there was no hiking involved. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> well, you could go anywhere, really. <laughs> you could stay at the bottom, you got the drone. Oh, that is true, yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one who has what? to Oh man, all right, I'm turning around. See ya. <laughs> man, I thought I'd get more practice flights before chasing a subject, but. Justin decided that now's the time, so <laughs> here we are. Here we go. Oh, the wind. Ooh, all right, so far so good. Oh, I'm way up there. Too high. Need to get down lower. Man, I'm having trouble holding my own balance. I'm like about to tip over here. Oh, I can't believe it. We haven't crashed yet. This is amazing. Woohoo! Oh, all right, my shots were crap, but we didn't crash, so gotta look at the bright side. Your riding was awesome. I but, flinched uh, right at the beginning, it, it felt so close. I was like, yeah, it's it was so like, no intense. flinching, no flinching. The problem is that the wind's going so fast this way. I got the drone going fast, and then I got the wind pushing me yeah. faster. Whoa. So you can see how I'm just like, whenever I try to trail you, I'm just like getting yeah. swept up. Figure I, it out, Gene, come on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry sir. Wow, I forget it, does this camera have 120? You know what does have 120? <laughs> so hard not to look at the <laughs> drone. Oh man. <laughs> Woo! Nice. All right. Camera on it too? Full on. Yeah. Ridiculous. You good. You good. I think I'm probably gonna get better shots find the GoPro, so let's just do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, way easier to fly this thing. Yeah, nice. <laughs> A big camera fast is cool, but like having the maneuverability is awesome. How you doing? I have about the same amount of battery life as that. <laughs> no. I could use a break. But could this be one of the situations where smaller is better? Do you like that face I made? I'm getting brutally murdered by mosquitoes right now. Tell me where they are. I think on my neck. Yeah. Is there any? Oh, cool. <laughs> this is Michael, the mosquito uh, fighter. Yeah. Uh, um, I found him on Craigslist. Yeah. He has great services. Uh, I will give you five stars. Thanks, it's really good price too. Oh dang, there is some big shoot going on over here. Now before I fly this thing anymore, I need some real advice from a real professional. Want some candy? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, hook me up, really? Oh yeah, I'm yeah, on to, oh no you have hey. drone stuff in there? Even better. <laughs> <laughs> so we're shooting a commercial. This is uh, Davis, What's up, co-owner of Lightcraft. This is the Jordan Temkin, the Jet Special. It is a coaxial nine inch machine that carries the Red Komodo. We've got a Voigtlander 15 
15 mil on here with a full Vaxxus 3000. The DP can watch the picture as we're actually flying it instead of just seeing my FPV feeds. Are there dampeners on this thing or no? No dampeners. The Komodo has a global shutter, so there's no point in dampening it. Oh, and if okay. You're flying crazy or if you snap hard. If you have dampers, the camera moves anywhere. So I tried flying the ZV-E10, which has really bad rolling shutter. Yeah. Is that why I'm seeing a ton of jello? That's when you'd want a damper. That's why we love the Komodo. We've got a couple of these with us. So this commercial is directed by Wally Pfister, who is uh, a legendary DP. Uh, so if you've ever seen little movies like Inception, or Batman, exciting and fun to work for. Huh, never heard of him. Yeah, it's... Have you heard of Inception? I think I might have. Prestige, I don't know. Prestige. I mean, there's no prestige if I'm here, so. <laughs> this thing makes so much power. It still has a, you know, six, seven to one thrust to weight ratio, even with all this weight on there. Do you have any advice for me? I think you wanna definitely be trying the right camera, right? So like, if you have a camera with IBIS or has a really bad rolling shutter, you're gonna wanna figure out how to get that tuned up nice and sharp. But I would definitely always start with the right kind of camera, like a, a Z cam. Me too, a Komodo, a BJH1, one of those kinds of where that's like a fixed sensor. And then from there, it's all about figuring out the tune. Always be safe, fly what you're comfortable. Like go for those shots, find those shots, but just work your way up to it, right? First time you take it up, you don't have to do a power loop or go through a gap. We're in the middle of downtown Long Beach. Is it way more scary to fly when there's this much going on around you? Uh, it's definitely a lot more intimidating to fly when you're in downtown. There's a lot of like Wi-Fi, for example, which is 5.8 gigahertz, which is the same signal that runs with the video. So we want to be very careful when we're testing. Does, do we have good signal? Do we have things? We have a ton of police here that are able to help us kind of lock off the street. So we're going to have a full chunk of space available for us to go fly. And that's uh, that's going to make it a lot more comfortable because, you know, if something goes wrong, only the drone is at risk at that point. No other people. You need any help? I can help pilot or something. If you want to charge some batteries, that'd be oh, okay. good. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, you guys might remember Paul or Nurk from the video we did, what, like almost two years ago? Yeah, something like yeah. that? It's a Red Scarlet that yeah. you flew. A couple months after that, the Komodo came out and it's like half the size, half the weight and we can make much smaller drones that can carry those big cameras. This drone was used to film like the upcoming ambulance movie with Michael Bay and you know, all sorts of crazy stuff. So like the, it's seeing all that technology develop has been awesome. All right, I'll see you up in the air. Oh, I'll fly mine and I'll follow you and stuff up there. <laughs> I will hit it out of the air if I see it. Carrie, would you like to introduce us to our visitors? Oh, we have some very special guests today, my parents. You've flown a little bit of FPV, right? Uh, very little, just in the house I tried. You got the starter kit? Yep. What do you think? I'm glad he's flying. So does this mean that you're gonna let Jason spend all kinds of money to get FPV stuff? <laughs> Whatever he wants. Whoa, no wonder where I get it from. Yeah, exactly. I've, I've always needed somebody to say the no word. And I... <laughs> yep, he is getting as close as I thought he was. Yeah, right. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, beautiful. All right. Okay. Professionals there at work. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, I never got that view in my living room. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try to do something just like that, but with this thing now. Wish me luck, I'm going to need it. Signal and everything looks good. Oh gosh, there goes nothing. <laughs> Camera is a big factor on battery life. Because with the M50, it was lasting forever but here it goes through it pretty quick. Well, I think last time we flew drones together, we tracked one down off the top of a building on Coeur d'Alene. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Mavic Air? No, a Spark. Spark, oh yeah. That one was a pretty terrible one. The Mavic Mini is much better. I have the stabilization on standard, so that's using optical image stabilization as well as IBIS. It's coming out a little bit weird. This might be something I could try to warp stabilize, but I think generally it seems to get the best results when you have all stabilization just turned off. We are also using the TBS Tango 2. All the FPV guys say this gives us a better signal or further distance. I actually like it, it's pretty small. Last battery on this thing. These batteries are heavy. 
they go by really fast. Finally, I was starting to get comfortable with this, which is actually a bad thing. I got too comfortable, all right? Which is why you're watching the goggle feed, which doesn't look nearly as nice as that beautiful 4K 120 footage that the Sony was recording. So this image you're watching is actually what I see while I'm flying and it just records onto the memory card on the goggles. I was really getting more comfortable getting closer to these rocks and doing these riskier dives and all. Now I knew it was about time for me to bring it in for the battery. I think that was good. I think we got some stuff. And then that's when I realized the battery was actually much more dead than I had assumed. Oh shoot, I'm losing power. <gasps> oh. 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 oh no. <laughs> my tooth though. That, uh, <laughs> so all bad things. All right, I lost my tooth. Uh, your tooth is... Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> oh my God. I Wait, I just saw it. Oh, it's right here. Oh, okay. Right we found one of the main two things. Gene. I was gonna say, oh, go slow. This looks like it could be worse. Camera error, power off then on. Okay, so this is not great. Oh my God, camera still turns on. <laughs> camera still turns on, guys. <laughs> this has got some battle scars. I have a lot more respect for this A7S. When you go to sell it on eBay, you just have to put that it's gently used. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just went full stick up and it just started lowering. So I'm like, oh crap, I gotta just land this somewhere. And I just was like, you know what? I'm just gonna kill the power and then let it roll down the hill. So uh, this is what a typical shoot is like. So yeah. what do you guys think? That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I might be convinced I shouldn't come with you when you shoot drones. <laughs> Good news is that all the equipment is actually fine except for these propellers and included with the box was a whole new set. So what did we learn in this video? Well, for one, don't drain the battery. <laughs> as soon as it starts giving you any sort of warning signs, bring it right back and fly it gently. Because from the point I noticed any sort of difference in terms of power till when I could float was literally like three seconds. Also with this TBS Tango 2 controller, I did realize that it came with the wrong frequency. So if you get one of these, then I will link a video which will help you make sure you get it on the right frequency. And it's also interesting to learn that depending on the camera, you might want some stiff dampeners or some soft dampeners. I do wanna say that this drone is way too advanced for me. I have no business flying something like this. I just figured it'd make for some pretty good clickbait. So I had to do it for the views, you know? <laughs> I did also see that iFlight does have this new Cine lifter, which has prop guards, which I probably would have went for if I didn't already have this one. But for me, I still personally prefer flying the smaller drones with the GoPros or the little Insta360. It's just much more stress-free. I feel much more comfortable getting closer to the subject. So I think it just ends up with a better shot in the end. But on the big scale, on like the project like Nurse doing, it is awesome having some really high quality options like the Red Komodo and stuff like that. You just have to have a lot of experience and confidence flying these things, which I am not ready for. I should not have this. All right, so I got the Canon M50 back on here. It has a broken LCD and stuff. So this is really what I should be practicing with, not an A7S. I'll start recording and check it out. Got a new tooth in two. See, life is all good. New propellers. Will it take off? <laughs> 